All right, how's everyone doing? Um, this is gonna serve as somewhat as an introduction to my channel. Um, the game we're looking at here is Yakuza 4. I figured I'd open up my first video here um, with one of my all-time favorite games and uh, one of my all-time favorite series. Uh, it's probably right up there with the uh, with Mass Effect. But uh, yeah, the Yakuza series, a series I loved for a long time. Uh, back when G4 was before G4, I, I think it was Tech TV, they had a show called uh, Trailers. And uh, I remember they would, they would have trailers for games that were going to come out here or imported games. And one of them was Yakuza. And I, I, all I remember seeing was there was a funeral, everybody was wearing tuxes. And out of nowhere, this guy runs and drop kicks somebody. And from that moment on, I knew I had to have this game. And uh, sure enough, it, it showed up in the States. Uh, I got to play it. I loved it. Then we got part two, and then part three, and uh, this one four. And uh, Yakuza 5 has been released already in Japan for a while now. And I uh, was uh, not really sure if we were even going to get it, which really bums me out if that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing series. Uh, if you never played it, give it a shot. Uh, I'll do my best to show you how great a game it is right here. And uh, being as my first video, uh, you see how it goes. I probably said ah uh, like a ton of times, but don't worry, we'll get through this. I'm sure I'll improve. Okay, so I'm going to load up a save here. Whoa, I've been a long time since I played this. I think I got one save at the last chapter and just mess around in the premium adventure. So don't spoil much if you want to play this game. And uh, if you've never played this game before and you kind of want to jump in with Yakuza 4, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Yakuza 3 is out there, it's also on the PlayStation 3. Uh, it's a very solid game. But if you want to jump in with Yakuza 4, you could. Uh, they have a ton of videos. You can like sit there and watch like three, four hours of video explaining each game leading up to now. So if you want to do that or just play the games, which I would prefer to play the games, you go right ahead. But here we are. Um, this is the first character you get in the game. His name is Akiyama. He is a bit of a lone shark, and uh, yeah, he's got a ton of money. Not the first non-Yakuza player that you will play as in this game, despite the title of the game being Yakuza. Uh, Akiyama's pretty awesome. Uh, he kicks tons of ass, and uh, that's pretty literal. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Basically this game, it looks a little GTA-ish. There are no cars. Uh, you just run around Japan. A very detailed Japan. Got a lot of guys walking around thinking they're cool. You can knock them down if you run into them hard enough. Be a punk. Uh, but yeah. There is a lots to do in this game. Mini games. Well, instead of just talking, I guess I'll just show you. But uh... I mean, I wanted to talk about Yakuza series. I figured first video on my channel. I want to talk about a game that's one of my favorites. And uh, I love beating the crap out of people. So, like, here's this punk. You get these a lot. A lot of people are frustrated by these. Uh, me, it doesn't matter. I, I always, I don't mind taking the time to beat these guys up. Doesn't even last that long most of the time. And it's always a good time. And uh, despite all the amazing feats you've done in the game, these guys still think they can pick on you or manage to forget who you are. Okay, so you can probably tell now we got a brawler here. Uh, use R1 to lock on to somebody like this. Uh, the square button or launch your normal attacks. You have your health bar up there in orange. And the blue bar, which is causing me to, to glow with blue flame, is your fury meter. 
Now the fury meter is a key to this game. It's what makes this game super awesome. Um, it allows me to do super brutal attacks that most people probably won't survive from, but apparently in Japan it happens all the time. So Akiyama is very specific. He needs to be around the environment to execute his attacks. So I'll lure him by the wall over here. I think I have to be on this side. There we go. Little button press, kicks to the face, more kicks. How about some more kicks? And then finish it with a big heel drop. And yep, that guy is gonna feel it the next day. Now we got the big guy to take care of. And uh, he's done. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Um, but yeah, that's. It's got a little bit of an RPG element here, like a random battle system. You'll be walking around and some guy will run up to you and bam, fight. You can't get out of it, you're stuck there. But in the end, you always get something out of it. Gave me an energy drink. And, um, yeah, look at him, he's just there. So let's see what else we can do. We can do some more running around. These little places like the burger place, you can go and eat food. I guess like GTA or you can go to Club Sega play some mini games and uh, yeah I wish you could play all these games I think they got like Virtual Fighter 5 is in here uh, but you can play this game right here called Box Boxelios 2 there it is, an arcade shooter. Uh, I think so. Try it out. It's a very simple game. See my money up there, my yen. Looks like a lot of yen, but I've been told that actually is not a lot at all in in dollars, which kind of bums me out. I thought I was rich. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this game out. I Akiyama agrees. Very simple, just X button to fire and uh, the left stick to move your aircraft. Very flashy looking, I'll give it that. You're supposed to take out like these alien orb thingies with this laser, boom, there's one. The keys do it as quick as possible. They have a weak point on them, that's what you want to hit. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Another one. Now most of these obviously are very easy at the start. So tend to hide their weak point a little bit better. Make you cut through the rest of the layers to get to it. And uh, it has its own leaderboard system so you can see how you can stack up against other PlayStation players. There you go. I think the highest level I got is level 30 here. Tends to get silly the more you go along. And uh, big different from the first Box Helios game that appeared in uh, Yakuza 3. It didn't have all these crazy camera views. I think it was it, it was a uh, it stuck to the side scroller mechanic. Now you got like this weird angle, which kind of makes it harder to hit these things. But yeah. Alright, well, probably stop there. We'll keep this moving along. There's a lot to do in this game, and I kind of want to get to as much of it as I can. But again, uh, this series has very been a personal favorite of mine for the longest time. Um, yeah, I just wish I wish more people would give it a chance. More people would play it. It's, it's brutal and yet there's so much weird Japanese things in this game that'll keep you busy for a long time. Push that guy. Head down the alleyways. Let's see. You can see I can't zoom all the way. I can't look all the way up but that is the Millennium Tower. Fancy building. Now, this city is based on a real place in Japan. I uh, can't remember the name. 
but there's an iconic sign that's in front of the city that they have here and uh, I will show you after I deal with this guy another guy just wants to fight has no idea who I am and uh, we will have to make him pay for it show him some fancy kicks see what else I can do As you can see, Akiyama likes to kick things. But yeah, like the main focus of the combat is to build up your fear meter and do crazy stuff like that. You can use weapons. I think I have, I have a bowling ball here, a magic bowling ball. Then you can use it to smack your enemies. Put that away. What else I got? Uh, see, I got an umbrella. Step on that guy's face. Hit this guy with an umbrella. He's down. What else do I got? That's it. Okay, scared. Somebody dropped the samurai sword here. Pick that up. Step on that guy. That was not pretty. <laughs> but effective. Very effective. See this guy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't tell anybody I'm a loser. Here you go. Some energy drink. Oh. Alright, yeah, enough. Mini games aren't your thing. Um, you can do crazy only Japan things like talk to hostesses. Um, there, you can go to batting cages, fighting tournaments, underground fight clubs, gambling, play cards, play Japanese board games that I do not understand. It's just, there's so much into this. It's just built from the last game to the last game, to the next, to the next, and um, and yeah, uh, I'm getting kind of far out from where I wanted to show you guys. Hey, there is no taxi here to take. I mean, there is no car. You can take a taxi. It'll take you to certain points, but uh, yeah, most of the time you're gonna be running around. But uh, by the fourth game, I tend to memorize the city already, uh, since. Uh, it's the, it's the same city every time. I think Yakuza 2 actually added extra cities. And then uh, Yakuza 3 added in one. Okinawa. You can run around there. Here's a taxi. Let's go to the main place. I'll show you guys that famous sign that I was talking about. Shot. It's up there. Probably have to get in here first. Oh, that guy wants to fight. Couldn't get away from him. You notice the people start to gather there. I'm like a circle around us. Gang members. One, two, three. Kick, 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 kick. That guy tried to attack him from behind. Nice little counter there. Very, very flashy. Yeah. Get this guy. Can grab. Punch that guy in the face. Kick that guy. No, like, like I said earlier, Akiyama depends on the environment. So if you're next to a poor, he'll do that. Against the wall, he'll kick him in the face a bunch of times. Basically, a lot of kicking. <laughs> Like this. This is one of my favorites. And the knee to the head. Can't go wrong with nice overkill. And that guy's down. Messed up face and all. So <laughs> be. All right, thirty thousand yen. Cool. Well, like I need it, but okay. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot of the sign. There it is. The famous sign. And uh, so yeah, that's Akiyama for you. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys another character. 
There are four in total of this game, which is the first for the Yakuza series. Every single game has starred one person, and it's this guy right here, Mr. Kazuma Kiryu. I'll pick him last. <laughs> and uh, here's Saejima. He's an awesome character. I really don't like his fighting style too much. He's a very brute, brute based grappler. Um, probably the guy I most enjoy is obviously Kiryu, as his, as his move set has built, like, as it's gone bigger and bigger in each game. It just been add, they just add to it. It's just pretty awesome. And uh, there's Haruka there. You can kind of show around town, play mini games, and show. I want to do whatever. I want to eat. I want to do this. But let's talk to Tanamura, police officer. He has probably got one of my most favorite fighting styles in a Yakuza game ever. Let's see here. Where's the exit? Okay. <laughs> Over here. Probably show you him and then I'll show a little Kiryu. Not sure how long I want this video to go on. And, um, okay. Here we are, same town. Uh, it's not always nighttime. You can sleep. Uh, well, it's evening now. But, uh, you can sleep and come back at dawn. When it rains, the game looks really nice. Uh, some dudes here want to fight. Sure, why not? Oh, that guy doesn't want to. Oh my guys, the guys that want to fight, they'll look like him. They'll just be standing there staring, and then they'll run up to you. Oh, there he goes. I guess he needed to be behind me. Sometimes fights will start off like this. A little quick button press. Just to change it up. Nice little counter there. No, I, you know, it's not here. This is Tanimura. Tanimura is. He's got a bit of an MMA base. He's got grapples. Pull people's arms. Kick to the face. Step on their face. <laughs> and when you need some fury, you can charge up Super Saiyan style. Not every character can do this. I think Akiyama has to taunt. But uh, almost there. This guy doesn't look like he's gonna try anything. Except for that, he's gonna shank me, so let's give him one of these. And a good punch for good measure. And we're off. see here let's go uh, chat up a hostess I guess now since Tanamura is a cop as you can see on the bottom right of the screen the little ticker going uh, that actually gets police calls he can uh, you can go solve crimes but you get kind of tired of them after a while uh, eventually it's just the same thing over and over again chase a dude or beat up a dude but yeah oh over here. Now I'm not too immersed in Japanese culture, um, but the hostess clubs always intrigued me. It's a, it's a funny thing. You just pay people to hang out, have a good time. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it, pl it plays kind of cool in this game. It's pretty funny. And you need a lot of money. A lot. A lot of yen. <laughs> so we picked a girl here. I only had one choice. See those hearts up there? You actually have to max those out. If you want to. 
like every th there's a ton of things in this game that are entirely optional I think my first run through with the game I played the story mode and just did the story mode and all the story missions and it, it said I only had 11% complete in the game so that just kind of goes to show you how much there is to actually do in this game just with all the side quests, the mini games, the, the hostess clubs so I give her a present, let's see if I have anything to give her uh, just a bunch of energy drinks I think I'll pass what I like you can you start off by ordering a drink uh, you can never go wrong with ordering the most expensive stuff they'll always like that unless you the kind of the key is to figure out what they like and uh, and you know once you figure out what they like you can just keep ordering that and uh, you'll get those hearts up pretty quick if you're not sure and you got a ton of money you can just order the best things and you'll be good Let's see if I remember here I think this girl liked orange juice there you go see very cheesy I mean she's wearing a maid outfit after all uh, this on the other hand uh, fruit platter is very cheap and can't go wrong with that I guess there you go uh, once you max it out uh, there's really not much that happens afterward there's no different dialogue so but I think each character has about two or three girls they can talk to there's more than one hostess club come by a lot of reading to do in this game uh, there's also a lot of cutscenes there's a lot of cutscenes you know with dialogue and a lot of cutscenes of just reading text that may turn people off but uh, I you get through it I mean, there's so much emphasis put on the story in this game that it, it's worth it you don't want to miss anything a lot of minor details so yeah acting lessons blah 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 just skim through this you make choices she hates it sometimes she won't care like I think what I said there had no effect on her it's just whatever and yeah I don't think I can skip this I'll try and just flash through it and that's it now when you're still trying to build hearts with them uh, you can actually pay for more time but once you got max that's pretty much it there you go <laughs> and the hostesses are all based off of real girls Japanese models I think I know they're based off of real girls but whether they're all models I'm not sure I know they have a contest each Yakuza game to see who uh, becomes a hostess and yeah, I'll probably do one more Tanamura fight and then I'll switch over to Kazuma. This guy's always fun to fight. You can look at me like that and just walk off. You know, for a beating. Sure, buddy. Let's send this guy through this window. Headbutt. Headbutt fight. <laughs> it can get pretty ridiculous in this game, but that's what makes it awesome. The game likes to remind you that it's Japanese. <laughs> and yeah, knocked him through there. Got this guy. Break his arm. Did not push the button, uh, he's already dead. I wanna keep my get my fury up as fast as possible. Now the cool thing about Tanamura, uh, I'm not sure if he can block, uh, he just has a counter. He glow blue like that and he can counter. See? Okay, <laughs> did not do it there. Now this guy we will have to go the extra mile. Break it again. He still survived somehow. He'll probably get up and try to punch me.
And that should take care of him. Now this guy's scared because I kicked his buddy. See if I can get my fury up. Do something fancy. Uh -huh. Sorry. You gonna hit me or what? There we go. Wow. Break his arm. Let's kick him in the face. And there you go. There's actually a lot to do in terms of combat. You got your abilities here. Look at this for a bit. A lot of things, uh, they go for all characters, but there's some things, there's plenty of things in here actually that are character specific with Tanamura or anybody else. And uh, yeah, one of my favorite things about Tanamura, he actually has some moves that he gets from Kiryu. It's pretty awesome. And speaking of Kiryu, we will go switch to him right now. I just had to head back. Run around some dudes that want to fight. Eventually, it just it becomes clockwork. You just see a guy who wants to fight. You want to fight him or not? You just go around him. Every once in a while, they'll catch up to you or they'll sneak up on you. But you know they get buried in all these people here. Sorry, excuse me. They head back to the bar. This guy trying to get people to join his thing. Give him a little nudge. Show him who's boss. <laughs> okay. Um, here's Kiryu. Sure, why not? Now this guy is the legend of legends. I hope I can do him justice here. No pressure. <laughs> Actually, let's rest till nighttime. City looks much better at night, I think. But again, this this series is just amazing. The story is the biggest part. Um, a lot of people complain about the combat. Everybody's into those, uh, you know, Arkham Asylum combat now and uh, Assassin's Creed. And it's uh, real simple. Uh, I'm okay with that. I really enjoy Sleeping Dogs. I like the way they handled it. And, uh, but yeah, as far as combat goes, this is probably my favorite. I have the most fun with this. may seem really clunky at first especially when you're fighting multiple guys and uh, want, you don't want to attack in all directions but uh, trust me especially with Kiryu he basically has a fury move for any situation that he's in behind a guy in front of a guy on the ground if you get knocked down countering uh, with like every weapon he can do something cool Very strong. <laughs> Punch that guy in the face. Give him a good kick. He's on the ground. I like when they're trying to get up. And headbutt. That guy's down. Only just two guys here. Alright, I knew you got my fury up. There's a real cool attack he has. If I can do it before this guy gets smart. Or maybe I should just drink an energy drink. Pull the cigarette out. And to the face. Nice big jumping punch. Just wanted to have a little fun. So did I. 
a large blow up doll. That is probably the weirdest thing I've ever gotten from one of these guys. Normally it's just energy drinks and uh, and money, but <laughs> okay, I'll, whatever. I can't even carry it. My inventory is too full. Just send it to. Oh, look at the heck. That is a weird looking blow up doll. Send it to my hideout. Thanks. Alright, uh, I guess I'll finish off with one of my favorite mini games. There's two. Actually, there is a table tennis ping pong game that you can play with a hostess. Or uh, this right here. I just passed. Some karaoke. I'll probably finish it with this. And uh, yes, you can actually bring a date with you, I think, here. Or you can bring that little girl, Haruka. She likes to run around and do karaoke, or you take her to drink. Not beer, <laughs> you take her to drink uh, whatever, food. If she wants ice cream, you take her for ice cream. So I can bring a date or bring a Haruka. Uh, call a date over. thousand yen chump change okay so two girls to choose from I can't remember who's who let's just go with the first one pull out my cell phone it's done there she is All right, good. <laughs> On to the magic that is karaoke. And now, if you played Sleeping Dogs before, uh, this might not seem as crazy to you. Though I think in Sleeping Dogs there was a lot more American music, while here it's all Japanese. This is the law of karaoke. <laughs> but it's basically just pushing buttons. Um, right timing rhythm game each button represents a certain thing shout interject tambourine maracas or clapping now I don't know if I'm singing or if she is when you take Haruka with you the little girl she sings and you sit there and clap and yell stuff yo yay but anyways okay so she's gonna sing Uh, this is gonna be real cheesy, but let's give it a shot. Oh, you got your little mascot there. The key is to keep him happy and keep the judges happy because some of the judges, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, so we got, we got our button prompts. Just pushing at the right time. Get a rhythm going. Now hopefully, if I do a good job, you'll see what happens. It's not just her singing the whole time. It'll, it'll get pretty magical. <laughs> so far, this is pretty simple. Some songs are ridiculously fast. Cat looks happy. Missed that one. There we go. See? Crazy things happen. Pretty simple song. Looks like it's starting to speed up and then slows down.
But uh, if you ever get a chance to play this, maybe I'll record it sometime. Uh, Kiryu will sing. And he has a. <laughs> supposed to be a big tough guy and can seem pretty damn good karaoke. Reminds me of an episode. This is random, but uh, I've been watching the Justice League on Netflix. This is an episode where Batman sings. Kind of reminds me of that. Turned out to have an amazing voice. <laughs> Everybody was crying. And I think that's it. Rap a tap. Great. Cat looks happy. It's got uh, colors coming out of his head. See what the judges think. It all comes down to the judges. Of course, the hippo always gives the lowest score. And the cat gave me a, the highest. Normally, the cat's pretty mean. <laughs> but there you go. Simple song. And that should do it. Scoreboard here. Other songs you've done. You can see Kazuma Kiryu's name there. And that's number five. It's a hilarious song. Alright. Oh, they want me to sing a song. A duet. I think I'm going to cut it right there. Going on longer than I anticipated. Just a lot to show. A lot I didn't get to. Uh, maybe I'll record some more. <laughs> Jeez. It's professional karaoke. I've never been to a karaoke place like that. Well, I've never been to a karaoke place, period, so that's okay. Concludes the date. Yeah, whatever. All right, and uh, I guess that's gonna do it for Yakuza 4. I always wanted to do a let's play on this game, but uh, I figured my first let's play or something should be on a game I haven't played. Uh, as far as my channel is concerned, I plan to just keep it going with anything really. Even, uh, I love games, I love movies, comic books recently. I'll probably record a bunch of that stuff. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, Yakuza. I really hope 5 comes here. If it doesn't, I, I would Im I'll import it, but I will not understand anything. Doesn't matter if I've memorized every place in this city. Um, but yeah. Just end it with a fight real quick. Watch that karaoke ness. <laughs> Gotta punch some dudes. This guy with this blue hoodie. He's down. There's that guy. Stomp on his face. I've done it a third time, but it didn't seem necessary. Get over here, buddy. And, uh, what should I do with this guy? Bring him over here. See what we can do, no? Oh, here we go. Face to the wall. Knee to the face to the wall. And there should be a stomp, but nope, got cut out. <laughs> For your censorship pleasure. Anyways, uh, thanks guys. Uh, Anybody who watches this, thank you very much. Hopefully you stick around. I'll be posting more videos as soon as I can. Just got me a capture card, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes, how far this goes. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Thanks.